Hi there, comic geeks. Um, just back from my local comic shop and picked up the issues from the past two weeks uh, because I was on holidays. Uh, so yesterday I took those up and let's uh, see what we have for, uh, yeah, this time. A little small haul. We've got White Bolt, issue number two. I was uh, excited to um, uh, get this one and uh, to read the next uh, issue on the, I, I really love the first one um, so yeah I haven't read it yet but I'm excited to read it then we've got a new one which is live also from distillery um, written by Brian Azzarello and Stephanie Stephanie Phillips um, I haven't read it yet don't know what what it's about but I do love distillery as a publisher so um, let's see what it gives. Um, it's a new issue, so um, I'm always excited to uh, start reading new ones um, um, that come on the market. So we'll see what it gives. The next one is also an issue one from Boom, uh, which is called Minor Arcana by Jeff Lemire. This one. Also issue number one, so again, surprise, I don't know what's it about, I uh, hope it's a good one. It's maybe less good, so we'll see. Then we've got <coughs> uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Best of Dark Leo. This one, I haven't read it yet either, so we'll see. When I look at uh, the insides, I do see uh, Old Hob and Splinter and Shredder, and it does look quite animated so I'm quite excited I do love the turtles I have the whole IDW collection so we'll see what that gives then another one is also an issue one the exceptional X-Men Soft people say it is quite good I haven't read it yet uh, so we'll see what it gives I'm not the biggest X-Men fan most people know that uh, but yeah, it's an issue number one, so why not try it? It might be really, really, really good, and then I will continue the series. Uh, it might also be like a bummer. We'll see. Let's give it a try. Then, yeah, after the whole Blood Hunt uh, series with the vampires, now apparently Marvel is coming out with Marvel Zombies, Son of Decay, also an issue one. I see Groot and Iron Man. Well, well, Captain America, uh, the Widow is on there, and they look a bit weird. We'll see what it gives. It's also an issue one, so let's have ourselves a bit of a surprise. Then this is really good. Um, issue number four, the Ultimates. I have been following the Ultimates, uh, or the new Ultimate line uh, by Hickman also. Uh, Ultimate Spider-Man is really good. And then the Ultimates is really the story that that um, how do I say it uh, make I ties everything together right so we've got ultimate spider-man ultimate black panther ultimate uh, what is uh, the other one ultimate x-man and yeah we are in a world where the maker he created his own world and all heroes are dead or didn't become a hero let's call it like that they are not dead they didn't become a hero and the ultimate is a bit the surrounding story uh, uh, about that world and how everything ties together so really love this one and another issue one is moon knight the infinity watch haven't read it yet um i'm also not the biggest moon knight reader i did see the movie which was great sorry the series i must say um but uh, yeah We'll, we'll see what it gives. Still need to read them all. They just came back from the shop, so I don't know what they are about, or not all of them, if I don't follow the series. And I really try to get all the new issue ones because I want to try them out. Uh, maybe there are some hidden gems uh, hidden in between them. And that's also a new issue number one, Duck and Cover. Also one that I got. I'm also excited to read that one. It's by Scott Snyder. Uh, I do like stuff that uh, Scott Snyder does, so we'll see what that gives. Then we've got issue number five of Animal Pound. Excited to continue reading the story. Uh, then we've got Venom, Separation Anxiety, issue number four. Also excited to continue that story. 
So I'm a big Spider-Gwen fan. Uh, so issue number four of Spider-Gwen the Ghost Spider is out. So excited to continue that story. Uh, although it's a bit, I think now it's a bit less exciting than when the, the Ghost Spider Omnibus came out. I love, really love that story. Here it's a bit on the slow end. We'll see what, what it gives. Hopefully, maybe they turn around, made it, make it a bit more exciting. Then we've got issue two of NYX. Again with Laura Kenny, the Wolverine, the female Wolverine on the cover. I do hope we get to see a lot more of her in this issue. I don't know yet, because in the first issue, it was really not about her at all. So I really hope now we go a bit more in depth into Laura Kinney in uh, the new NYXs. Then we've got the Incredible Hulk issue one, an annual. Um, I think it will stay with uh, the issue one because it's an annual. So haven't read it yet. Hope it's good. Then we've got Aliens vs. Avengers issue number one. I love the Avengers. I love the Aliens movies. I have never read any Aliens comic. Um, I don't know how this will turn out. It is written by Hickman. I do love Jonathan Hickman's writing. Um, his story, his world, uh, world building um, storytelling. He really builds everything up. It's a bit slower and when, when Hickman writes it because he really takes like one, two, three, four issues to start the action. Um, but I do like his writing. Uh, we'll see what the, this gives. Then we've got the Transformers, uh, issue one of a four issue limited series. Transformers, I do love the Transformers. So we'll see what that gives. Aha. Issue number two of the Nice House by the Sea. Yeah, so I, I read the whole Nice House by the Lake. Uh, by Jay Stinian uh, was a great story. So I immediately picked up um, The Nice House by the Sea, issue number one, of course, when it came out. And it's again very intriguing. It's mm, quite different than the first um, uh, setting. Um, so I'm very excited to read issue number two. Uh, we'll see how the story continues in there. Uh, but yeah, if it's anything like Nice house by the lake. I'm pretty sure it's gonna get very good very fast. Yeah, of course, issue number 40, something is killing the children. I've been uh, following the series from issue number one. Something is killing the children is, is really something else. Um, I really like it. It's also from James Tinian the fourth. Really great series. Um, yeah, I will continue following that one uh, for sure. Then I have no clue what it is because it's not written on there. Oh yeah, it's on the back. It's Hello Darkness issue number two. Oh, the reason why I bought this one, uh, Hello Darkness number two, is because in the Hello Darkness issue uh, one, and this is uh, issue number two, uh, it's a series of short stories uh, and they continue each week. But there is one story in here um, is um, from Something is Killing the Children. So because I want my collection complete and have read everything of Something is Killing the Children, I need to keep following uh, this one. Although that the other stories are not really my cup of tea, it's primarily because there is one story about uh, from uh, Something is Killing the Children in there that I am following this. I think it will be eight issues and then the, the story will be finished. So I'm, I'm uh, collecting those just for the something is killing the children story. And then we've got Fantastic Four issue number two. Fantastic Four is a series that I keep following. Um, really love them. Then we also have the first issue of Ram God. I have no clue what to expect from that one, but Issue number one, so I'm always uh, open for discovering new stories, new writers, new artwork, uh, and, and, uh, and so we'll see. Ram God. Then we've got also an issue number one of eight, Stand Still. It's quite a, a big one. Yeah, it's quite thick, uh, the little book. So I have no clue what it is about. I hope it's good. It's written by Lee Loveridge and Andrew Robinson. It's from Image Comics, so let's see what it gives. 
And then we've got also an issue number one uh, from Vault Comics, Some, Something Crawled Out. So that's it. That's uh, my stack for, for this week. I still need to read them all. I've got a weekend now, so hopefully I will uh, get through all of them. Um, and I will be sure when I see some exceptional new issue number ones to make separate videos about those. So yeah, keep following and I'll see you in the next video.